All right, we're group B17, and uh, if you want to check out more videos of this kind, go to knowadam.com. Uh, our video for today is going to be discussing Sterling numbers of the second kind. Uh, this is written as capital S N distinguishable objects, K indistinguishable objects. We'll get to that later, but the, the general formula we follow for this is 1 over K factorial. Uh, times the summation from i equals 0 to k minus 1 of negative 1 raised to the i times k choose i times k minus i raised to the n. <coughs> now, we use this uh, concept when we have n objects we're trying to put into k indistinguishable objects, such as uh, n balls put into k boxes where uh, you can put more than one ball into the box. So it's not the same as n choose k, because that only allows for one for each box. Um, now in the formula, it's uh, fairly straightforward, but the one thing that throws people off is this negative one raised to the i, and this comes from the uh, inclusion-exclusion principle, where you <coughs> add every even number and subtract every uh, odd sequence because that causes overlap if you were just to add all of them. Okay. So here's an example of how we use Sterling numbers. So um, let's say we have five rooms which are indistinguishable. And let's say we have six people. one people, one person in each room. So we'll start with putting A in the first room and then B, C, D, and E. Now we're left with person F and we can put it in any room here. So we have five choice to put F in any room here. And then we'll continue with um, we'll pick out um, E. So then we can put person E into any of this room. But then we have we already had the combination of E and F. So then we left with four choices to put E. And then we'll continue with combinations and then there's one choice left when, when we get to A. So when we sum up 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, we get 15. So still number of putting 6 people into 5 rooms is equals to 15. Uh, so something to note about uh, Sterling functions and um, I mean Sterling numbers and um, onto functions is uh, so say we had a set one, two, and so it's a uh, size n. And we'll call it uh, we'll call it a. N. And say we had um, one, two, a. Call it b. Or now leave b. So the number 
of onto functions from A to B. So we got here's a, here's A right here. Got a bunch of elements in the domain. And here's B. So if we're gonna make an onto function. Uh, we map elements in the domain, codomain, and this goes all the way to n. Goes all the way to a. So yeah, such that b is um, it's completely covered by a. Um, it's kind of like a, another way to think of this is it's as if we're putting a objects into b bins. So that's just a Sterling number. Um, so you know this would be b1, this would be b2, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and there are n factorial ways of doing this. So Two functions is equal to n factorial times the Sterling number of n and k. Okay, the Sterling numbers of the second kind also observe a recurrence relation. Um, this can be modeled right here through Sterling numbers of uh, n plus one k is Sterling number of n k minus one plus k times Sterling numbers of n k. Um, this is not too intuitive, but uh, when you get through the logic, it makes sense. So if we have so numbers of n plus 1 k, um, a partition of n plus 1 objects is either going to go into k non-empty subsets, or it's not. Um, the number of ways that it will go into k non-empty subsets is going to be n k minus 1. So you have to put the uh, remaining n objects into k minus one uh, subsets because if it contain um, the n plus one set, then there's k minus one. Take away one k subset. Um, now the number of ways that it will not go into k subsets is going to be k n over k. Uh, this is true because if it's not in there, then the rest of the elements, which is going to be n plus 1 minus 1 n elements, will go into k subsets, since, it's, since the n plus 1 element is not contained in there. And then to put the n plus 1 element into the k subsets, is going to be k choices, because it can go into any one of the k boxes, theoretically. Um, and then basically you just add these two up to get the uh, probably that it won't go in, probably that it does, and we get our answer right here.